Greetings and salutations, everybody. Rad Dreams here with Rad Dreams Review. I do apologize for the long wait in between videos. I finally got over being extremely sick. No, no, no. Don't be worried. It was not the C virus. So, dodged a proverbial bullet there. It was just the standard flu. My voice was completely shot. I could not release any content. I couldn't really speak that well. I almost sounded like Mrs. Bighead from Rocco's Modern Life. You know, like, oh, hey, Rocco, how's it going? Or, you know, the old woman from SpongeBob, whom they, you know, SpongeBob and Patrick were trying to sell chocolates to, just like, Oh, I remember when they first invented chocolate. The sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. You know, that sort of thing. Luckily, I'm better, as you can tell. And if you cannot guess uh, by the picture behind me, we are going to be talking a little bit about Squid Game. That's right. It's the show on everybody's lips. It's the show that's number one on Netflix. It has broken quite a few records, actually. And we're going to talk a little bit about it, okay? And the biggest thing that we are going to talk about is that if you have watched all of Squid Game, and if you enjoyed it, because, you know, I'm going to, full disclosure here, I have only watched the first episode so far. Loved it. Fantastic first episode, fantastic entry into this show. I'm looking forward to the rest of the ride, 100%. The acting is very well done. The music decisions that they employ throughout the first episode are very, very poignant. I especially enjoyed that they did a rendition of Fly Me to the Moon. It was very reminiscent of Neon Genesis Evangelion, you know, when I first watched that. And what is happening behind me? Oh, Violet Evergarden, that's okay. We're going to just let the trailers play behind us, all right? <laughs> or, the, or the images. You can see that, um, you know, I watch a lot of anime. So, anywho, let's actually stop that real quick. Because I don't want you to be distracted. Oh, my goodness, this chair is very comfortable. All right, so what was I saying? Yes, fly me to the moon. Neon Genesis Evangelion, when I first watched it, it was on the Sci-Fi channel, and I watched it late at night, and when I watched it, that was actually the first time I heard Fly Me to the Moon, and it was a cover. I had no idea it was originally done by Frank Sinatra, and I didn't even listen to the man. Fast forward, you know, my mother, she introduces me to Frank fall in love with his music, then I get reintroduced to Fly Me to the Moon. Absolutely love it. I sing it to my wife all the time. And the fact that they used that song in the first episode while some things were happening, not to spoil anything, obviously, it was very well done. Very clever choice, if I'm going to be frank. And this is where... I'm going to stop talking about Squid Game and instead recommend something to all of you watching and or listening. So if you like Squid Game, and you enjoyed it, and you like this like death battle style of spectacle, then I do have a recommendation. I know I've said that a lot. It is the 2000 film Battle Royale. It's a bit of an obscure one. However, it is very reminiscent of Squid Game and, you know, that death battle-ness. 
if that can be used as a word. But it's also akin to, you know, Hunger Games in a way, except Battle Royale, in my humble opinion, is a tad more brutal. You know, it brings out that animalistic nature within people, that do or die attitude that, you know, may the strong survive and the weak perish. I know I sound a little bit like Shishio from Roroni Kenshin when I say that, but that's essentially what uh, Squid Game kind of hammers across. Not only does it hammer across that, like, uh, class divide and that, you know, the these uh, game, sh game hosts, if that's what you want to call them, target, you know, people with, you know, gambling addiction problems, people who are heavily in debt, you know, th they can do nothing else besides play these children's games to kind of, you know, shovel themselves out of this, you know, predicament that they've found themselves in. But with Battle Royale, it, it is different, you know. Battle Royale shows the viewer a, you know, massive group of, I think they're in high school, if I'm not mistaken. It's It's been, what, like, 20 odd years since I've last watched the film. So it's been a hot minute <laughs> since I've watched it. So my memory can be a little fuzzy. I cannot recall if they were in junior high or high school. Regardless, they're young, they're, they're, they're kids. And they're a bunch of kids that are delinquents and they cannot be reasoned with, they cannot be consoled, they cannot you know, behave for the adults. So what the adults decide to do is they decide, hey, you know what would be a really good idea? Let's kidnap all of these delinquents, put them on an island, strap a uh, bomb collar to their necks, and make them fight each other to the death. That'll solve the problem, right? <laughs> it's very, it, it is very goofy. Yes, it is very... Uh, silly. You know, it's a silly premise in a way, you know, Squid Game can be viewed as such because, you know, these these people are trying to buy themselves out of poverty by playing children's games. However, unbeknownst to them, you know, these are games of death. And they only find this out a little bit too late when they've already signed their agreements and... They just have to play with the hand that they are dealt. Now these kids in Battle Royale, they have to play this game not with a hand that they're dealt, so to speak, but they have to play this game with random weapons that they, the adults distribute to them in order to protect themselves with. And it it is a bit of a odd movie for sure, but it does kind of, you know, Squid Game reminds me a lot of Battle Royale, especially with, like, the music decisions within the Battle Royale film. The the vibe, you know, is very, very similar. And I know more trailers are playing behind me. What is it this time? Oh, wow, the never got to get but, but, yeah, I mean, let's kind of stop that again. Alrighty. But, yeah. No, uh, Battle Royale, fantastic movie, came out in the year 2000, so it is a bit older, but you can watch it easily on, you know, multiple different streaming services, whether it be Amazon Prime, Tubi, uh, I believe it's on, you know, YouTube, you know, if you want to pay for it, it's like a buck ninety nine, so it's super accessible, very inexpensive, uh, highly recommend looking it up after you listen slash you know, watch this video. I know it's been a while, but do yourselves a favor. If you like Squid Game, you will like Battle Royale. And if you like the first film, you can always, you know, check out the sequel to Battle Royale. It's not as good as the first one. In my opinion, it is a bit, um, jumping of the shark, if you will. A lot of goofy decisions were made in, in the sequel. I would have done a little bit 
different decisions, but that's neither here nor there. Definitely check out the first Battle Royale, though. But, yeah, other than that, the, the last thing I will leave you all with today is that I have been doing a podcast, actually, and it releases every Wednesday on Spotify. I'm going to be linking it down in the description below, so make sure you give us a listen, give us a follow, you know, subscribe to the podcast. I really appreciate it, and I know my co-hosts would also appreciate it. We are called the Uninformed Gamers, and we talk about video games, anime, TV, uh, card games, you know, you name it. Pretty much, we talk about anything within the zeitgeist and it's a bunch of bros just kind of yakking away at each other so if you're into that sort of thing want something kind of chill to listen to while you're at work or while you're doing you know menial tasks give us a give us a check out again i'll link it down in the description below but you know that'll kind of do it for me today guys uh, I hope all of you are doing well. I do apologize for the, you know, lengthy amount of time that passed between now and my last upload. I'll try to be more diligent about that. Don't you worry. But yeah, hope you guys stay safe and hope you guys are well. And above all else, I do hope that you stay rad. Take care.